Hey, Chris from the Mighty Decibel here. Welcome back. Well, we just passed the halfway mark for the year, so we're returning to our Albums of the Year to Date series with our second episode. This time we're looking at the best in hardcore punk releases for 2022 uh, so far. And of course, in our lexicon, hardcore punk includes straight up hardcore, uh, D beat, uh, grindcore, and metal punk. And as you'll see uh, in our uh, top five albums so far to date, we cover off almost all of those uh, subgenres there. So let's get into it. Before we get started, I should mention uh, that we're going to do this alphabetically. We're not ranking it, we'll leave that to the end of the year. Uh, so our first of five records, uh, highlighted hardcore punk records of 2022 to date, we go to the streets of Guadalajara, Mexico for in punk we thrash by Acides. So this is their uh, fifth full length record and it will appeal to both metalheads and the Mohawk wearing crew out there as most definitely it is a uh, street punk uh, album but they mesh in a bunch of thrash metal in there too so it'll appease uh, both fronts excellent production here too uh, that allows the performances to come through loud and clear the intensity hitting you straight between the eyes uh, so this is an amazing record for your next out of control beer drinking party Second on our list is When Words Are Not Enough by Berthold City. Uh, so simply put, this is the best uh, straight up old school hardcore record uh, of the year to date to, the, to these years anyway. Uh, it uh, has the necessary angst and catchiness that makes the subgenre such a pit fave. Uh, strong vocals, rampaging rhythm section, and bulldozing team background vocals, and damn well written every track memorable. Third on our list is Le Future et La by French Destroyers Bombardment. So I'm not going to pussyfoot around uh, about this one. Uh, this is easily my favorite hardcore punk record of the year to date. And uh, in fact, likely my favorite record of the year to date, regardless of genre. Uh, simply put, this is the best modern era D-beat record in years. Amazing stuff that that uh, steamroll, uh, steamrolls listeners into cowering puddles of poo after listening to this at appropriately uh, full blast. A friggin' amazing record. You want blood? You got it. Oh, 
down under for our fourth selection here, the self-titled release from Cemeterium. So this is a four track EP limited to 11 minutes in length, but in that short time frame, the band show that they're already masters of the punk crust attack. Uh, so it mixes mid-tempo, high-tempo uh, velocities with a gruff vocalist who would make alley cats shit in fear. Uh, Cemeterium introduced themselves with this mighty fine wallop of a record. Australia for our fifth and final highlighted hardcore punk record of 2022 to date and that is Ritual of the Warpath by Ironhawk. So I had trouble compartmentalizing this one uh, in uh, in that it's a metal punk outing and there are strong strong uh, uh, fumes of first wave black metal here specifically Welcome to Hell era Venom. Um, but uh, on the other hand, there's also some uh, hardcore punk running through, as you can hear, Discharge and the Exploited uh, references as well. So regardless of all that, I decided to put it in, in this category. As I said, it could go in, into either. But uh, bottom line here, that this is some rumbling, way over the top excess that is uh, only going to be acceptable by th those who like the hardest of uh, metal punk. Good stuff. five favorite hardcore punk releases of 2022 to date here at the mighty decibel if there's any other albums that you think deserves uh, some attention uh, right down below so everybody can check it out and remember every monday you should be checking out our new release mondays here at the mighty decibel uh, Tuesdays we have our curated uh, playlists in 40 minutes. Wednesday we have our live and album reviews. And Thursdays we have our best of top tens, that sort of thing. You know where to go to get all this. It's www.themightydecibel.com. Have a great one, eh?